So if you've landed here, you must be interested in how to fit one of these vent tiles into a normal house roof. Well, I'm actually working on a bungalow, so it makes it a lot easier because I don't have to go up quite as high. The idea is, or the reason behind me having to put one of these vent tiles in is that I need some uh, ventilation up in the loft. I'm actually gonna be running a duct from an ensuite that I've just put into a bedroom, running the duct up and then actually connecting it to the back of this vent tile. So I'll try and let you know and show you exactly what's going on as we go. It might be quite difficult because I'm gonna be on the roof, but I'll do my very best. The tools that you'll need for the job really simply is a claw hammer and you just need one with a rubber end here because we're just going to be knocking up some tiles and then we'll use the claw of it just to lift the tiles up before we replace them and then you're also going to need a Stanley knife as well just to cut through the felt to be able to get this this vent tile in. Now as we are going to be on our hands and knees it's actually a good idea um, just to get yourself if you haven't got some already some knee protectors and these are really good to help to actually help you stay on the rooftop um, and also for protecting those knees of course. Now I would suggest doing this job that you actually um, either use scaffolding or alternatively you get yourself a crawler ladder however I'm only going up um, a small way so I'm actually going to do it off the end of a ladder if I can. So the tile that I'm actually going to be taking out is the one where you can see I've got this tape measure just here. So what I need to actually do is just move these tiles just above it. So this one just here, all the way up, and then the one next to it as well. And that's nicely, easily done just with the, uh, the other end of the claw hammer here. So I can now actually remove this tile that I want to get out and it should just come out nice and easily there. And that's ideal. Now, what I will do need to do is obviously slot this tile in here and you can see at the moment that actually it just doesn't quite fit. So what I'm gonna do as well is just push this one up out the way now that one could actually be nailed in so if that is the case then I just need to lift this one up and have a quick look so you can see here that I just moved that third one up as well and you can actually see the reason why I couldn't get this tile out is just because there's a nail in that one there. So we can take that nail out, no problem at all, and that will allow us just to remove this second tile as well. Now, the reason why we need to do that is just so we can actually get this tile nicely in place. So what I need to do now with the Stanley, <coughs> Stanley knife that I've got is just obviously cut out so this part can actually go through the felt in the roof. So now you can see that I've just got this flap. I haven't cut it at the top because I'm actually just going to raise this felt up here and then just put it along the side of this vent part here. There you go. And you can see that that fits really, really nicely. So all I need to do now is get the tile back in here to marry up with this one and then to pull these tiles back down. So first of all, what I'm going to do is get this tile actually in here let's see if i can do this and the easiest way to bring these tiles back down to to the level um, across the roof here is actually just to get your claw hammer just underneath and then just slowly work work them down and they should fall and come back into place Gonna do it on the new tile here as well. Bring it all the way back down so these tiles are then in line with the others across the roof. So there you have it. There's our vent tile. You can see that it just sits nicely on the roof. Obviously we've got the spare tile here, but it fits in really well and sits really snugly. You can see there that the tile actually blends in 
really well with the other tiles. You don't even really notice that it's there from, from down below anyway. So it's as easy as that. I hope you actually got enough uh, through the video lens there to be able to see exactly what I was doing and actually how easy it is. I'm just gonna show you up in the loft just to show you where I've put the duct in then and actually connected the duct to that air vent that we've just put in. So I'm just gonna be using this standard uh, duct here that I'm gonna be putting, like I said, on the end of an extractor fan coming out of a new on suite that I've actually put in, that's then gonna be running up and through and out the roof and through that tile that we've just popped in. And this is the nozzle that actually goes on the inside of the tile. So this just pops up on the bottom of the tile, sorry, this way. Um, and then this is where I can actually connect the duct to on the inside of the roof. So you can see here now that I've got my duct connected to the on suite extractor fan. And that just runs down here. I've got it going underneath some of my beams just here. I've just clipped it on there using tie racks. And then as you can see, it comes up and then just connects to what is here, the, uh, the tile that we've just popped in there and connecting to that uh, connector on the bottom of the tile. I really do hope that that was useful. If you do have any questions at all, feel free just to drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.